Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play this groove I wrote that can help you improve your ghost notes. And a real quick explanation for anyone who doesn't know what ghost notes are, they're when you play notes on the drums quietly. And when you play ghost notes together with accented notes, which are notes you play louder, the contrast between the loud and quiet notes can make your drum fills and grooves a lot more interesting. And here's an example of what I mean by that. So what you just heard right there is probably the first drum beat that you ever learned to play. And when I add in some ghost notes with my left hand on the snare drum, this is how it sounds. So whilst there was nothing wrong with the first beat, when you add the ghost notes in, it can sound more interesting and can be more fun to play in certain scenarios. So anyway, let's break down the drum groove. This drum groove is two bars long in 4-4 timing, and I'm going to be teaching and breaking it down into two halves. The first half on its own sounds like this. So what you can see right now on the screen is the sticking for the first half and the capital letters are the accented notes which we play louder and the lowercase letters are the ghost notes which we play quieter. The first step to being able to play this is to play it slow on either a practice pad or on the snare and the, or on the, snare and the bass drum and this is where it sounds really slow on the snare and the bass drum. Once you've learned and you can play all the notes, the next thing you're going to want to do is just keep practicing it until it's in your muscle memory and you can play it fluently and relatively fast so it sounds something like this. And when it comes to the orchestration, which is just where we play it on the drums, it's really simple because the right hand is always on the hi-hat and the left hand is always on the snare drum. So playing it slow with orchestration, it sounds like this. And playing it a bit faster, it sounds like this. When it comes to learning pretty much any new sticking pattern on the drums, it will take some time. But once you have got it locked down in your muscle memory, you can pretty much play it whenever you want. So just start slow, keep practicing, and work your way up from there. So now let's break down and teach you the second half of the groove, which on its own sounds like this. Right here on the screen is the sticking pattern for the second half. And once again, the best thing to do is start slow on either a practice pad or on the snare and the bass drum. And here's how it sounds on the snare and the bass drum, slowly. And like with the first half and actually any sticking pattern you learn, keep practicing it until you can play it fluently and you have it down in your muscle memory. And when it comes to the orchestration, once again, it is pretty simple. The right hand is always on the hi-hat and the left hand is always on the snare, apart from the last two notes, which on the left and the right hand are both played on the snare. Here is how it sounds slowly on the drum kit. And here is how it sounds a bit faster. Now that you can play both halves, all that's left to do is add them together, and here is how it sounds at a few different tempos. Now this drum groove is probably one of my favourite ones that I've ever written because number one I like the way it sounds and number two it's a really good exercise to practice your ghost notes especially on the left hand. So playing and practicing this groove at different tempos will help improve your control and speed when it comes to playing ghost notes as well as improving your ability to play accented and ghost notes on the same hand relatively close together. And that pretty much concludes the video, I really hope you enjoy the drum groove. At the time of filming this I have 6 subscribers, mostly they're just my family members and the last video I uploaded got about 10 views. So I don't know if many people will see this, but if you are, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give it a like so more people can see it. There's going to be plenty more drum education and entertainment videos to come, so if you'd like to stick around, that'd be really cool. Goodbye.